Health Zone Presents 6 Effective Ways to Stop Being Hangry Hangry is real. In fact, it is a technical term where you are so hungry, you start becoming angry. It is quite unpleasant, not only to yourself, but to those who are around you. Perhaps you have skipped on breakfast or lunch and all of a sudden you're irritable and cranky. Why you get hangry? When you get hangry, it actually indicates that your blood sugar has dropped. As this happens, your hormones and mood will be affected. This is why you need to eat. When your stomach is full, the body will be able to break down the starches and sugars into glucose, which will then fuel your cells. If the glucose levels are low, your energy is low as well. You will not be able to control yourself and you will feel tired. This fuels moody reactions and can even result to food seeking binges. Even if there is nothing to be angry about, you eventually get cranky. Here are 6 effective ways to stop the hanger. 1. Eat at the right time. When you are very busy, you could forget about eating as you lose track of time. Sometimes, you wait too long to eat. Your body needs food every 4 to 5 hours whenever you are awake to give you energy. This way, you can perform your duties and have a clear mind. However, since you did not eat, you could have a headache and you become agitated and anxious causing you to snap at anyone in your way. If you don't eat at the right time, which you don't intend to do, you can set an alarm to remind you it's time to feed yourself. Always have something ready, such as unsweetened dried fruits that you can easily grab when you don't have the time to eat a full meal. While you may think that under eating can help you lose weight, it will certainly not help your health. 2. Have more fiber. When you eat foods that are rich in fiber, they usually take longer for you to chew them. Plus, they take up more space in your digestive system than any other food. This means you feel more satisfied and your blood sugar response will be regulated. All these things can help you have a steady energy and you don't get hungry fast. On average, you should consume 15 grams of fiber a day. However, experts recommend that you should have at least 25 grams to have enough fiber in your body. Eat at least two servings of fruit and some veggies. Instead of refined grains, go for whole grains instead. If you want protein in your diet, add lentils or beans. You can also add nuts and seeds to your meals. More fiber sources include raspberries, apples, pears, and broccoli. 3. Incorporate fat and protein to your diet. You should have protein in your meals and fat as well. Healthy fat that is. These two can boost your satiety, so you don't have to worry about getting hungry at the wrong time. Your best sources for protein include beans, lentils, non-fat Greek yogurt, eggs, poultry, and seafood. As for healthy fats, you should have avocados, nuts, seeds, and healthy oils namely olive oil and coconut oil. 4. Know the foods that are good for your mood. The food you eat has something to do with your mood. In fact, there are studies that prove how cinnamon can improve concentration. To be more positive in life, you should eat more produce and walnuts for better reasoning. The more you consume fruits and vegetables, the higher your energy is. Additionally, you can remain calm and happy even when you are hungry. 5. Drink water or hot tea. If you prefer chilled tea, it also works. Nevertheless, staying hydrated with water or green tea can boost your mood. This has been proven many times by research where psychological stress levels were tested on those who drink water and green tea. Stay away from sugary drinks though as well as those drinks with artificial sweeteners. You may also want to skip coffee. For some people, it can kill their appetite, so they don't get hungry. However, when you drink coffee, it actually contributes to fluctuations in your blood sugar, especially for people who are sensitive to caffeine. 6. Know your condition to eat better. If you have hyperglycemia, you should eat a snack that has high protein content every few hours. Make sure you keep track of your condition. When it has improved, you will be able to go longer in between your snacks. It is also important that you are aware of your carbohydrate tolerance. Be able to stick to it and make sure you don't eat foods with high carbs. There should always be protein or fat whenever you eat carbohydrate-rich foods. Whenever you feel hangry, Try the cures above to thwart crankiness induced by hunger. If the video was helpful press the like button. And please don't forget to subscribe the channel by clicking the red box below. Thank you for watching.